What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're talking about my top 10 sketch plugins to increase your productivity in your design workflow because as they say, it's better to work smarter, not harder. Although, I mean, do, I mean, do work hard. It's good to work hard. I mean, do both, work smart and hard. Just do a good job. These will, these will help you to do a good job. These are 10 of my favorite plugins that'll help make your workflow a little bit more snappy, a little bit more precise, and a little less repetitive. Everything on the list today is gonna be free, although there are some awesome paid plugins. I'm not including them in today's video. Okay, plugin number one on the list is called Runner. It's a really quick and easy way to run some of those superfluous tasks that you do over and over and over, like rename files, or insert shapes, or grab a picture, or download a new plugin, or update your plugins. Runner is like your go-to and all you have to do is learn that little quick key, hot key command. Runner is great for doing all those menial little tasks. So check it out, Runner. The second plugin on the list is called Angle. It's made by the same guy who did the design and code series where you learn Sketch and learn iOS development. It's made specifically for Sketch and it's all about inserting awesome devices, either flat or isometric, into your websites or your landing pages or your projects. It's just a bunch of simple overrides that'll add your designs and using your artboards just to slam it in in all the different ways. Check it out, Angle. The third plugin on the list is one of my favorites and I couldn't live without it and that's Image Optum. Image Optum was already a free standalone application that you could use for your projects, but now they've turned it into a Sketch plugin. So whenever you export an image out of Sketch, it's gonna run all those images through the Image Optum kind of compressor. What does the Image Optum do? Exactly that, it losslessly compresses all of your images, saving you space. Okay, the next plugin on the list is called Merge Duplicate Symbols. Merge Duplicate Symbols is an awesome plugin that does exactly what the name states. It merges duplicate symbols. You just grab anything you need, you press Merge Duplicate Symbols, and you get this great pop-up box and a dialogue that tells you how many different versions you have and how many instances there are of each of those versions of your symbol. And you can just consolidate them into one, bada bing, move on, and you have less symbols in your project, less confusion, and it speeds up your workflow. All right, number five on the list is amazing. It's probably the most boring sounding plugin that I'm gonna mention today, but you know, it's just absolutely amazing and it's called Rename It. It allows you to rename layers and different pieces of your sketch project. Instead of doing every single artboard or every single layer, you just grab everything you wanna work with, you open up Rename It and you tell it what to do and it automates the process. That's what we want, right? Automation. Okay, yeah, the next plugin is so good, I can't believe it's not part of the Sketch Core kind of program itself, and that is Sketch Measure. Sketch Measure is a mind-blowing plugin that does exactly what it says, too. It allows you to measure your documents when you're redlining or specking your document to hand it off to developers. You can measure from one object to another, you can do sizes and lengths. This allows me to not measure everything by hand, but literally just grab objects and say, go ahead and measure that for me, and it does all the hard work for you. This is a product designer's dream. You gotta check it out, Sketch Measure. Okay, the next plugin on the list kind of helps fix a missing feature that Sketch for some reason does not have, and that's the ability to create reusable palettes or save Sketch palettes away somewhere to consistently access them. And so this plugin that's called Sketch Palettes does just that. The next plugin on the list is a must if you're like me and you are atrocious at spelling and grammar. I just, I admit it, I'm really bad at spelling. And so Spell Check the Whole Page is a plugin that allows you to you got it, spell check the whole page. The next plugin on the list is all about making your symbol life easier. Symbols are an amazing, powerful tool. It's great that there are symbols, but it's bad that they're organized in such a way. Well, organized symbols is a basic interface that allows you to choose how you want those symbols to be displayed. Do you want to have them vertical or horizontal? Do you want to have columns and rows? How do you want to name them? How deep do you want this organization system to go? You can set that up from the start and just continue making symbols every once in a while, come back and run Symbol Organizer and it'll keep your stuff right in flow. The last plugin on the list is of course Craft by Envision. As you're designing and concepting and ideating your, your ideas onto the canvases, you don't wanna stop and be jumping back and forth between you know 
documents of content here and different things over there. You just want to create and, and get a good flow and momentum going. Well, Craft allows you to do that by inserting, you know, different headlines and lorem ipsum and photos and duplicating your content. It just allows you to kind of move around a little bit quicker. There's a lot of cool other Envision features there as well. So I encourage you to check out Craft by Envision. Well, that's it. Those are my top 10 sketch plugins to increase productivity in my design workflow. What kind of sketch plugins are you using and how are they helping you? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and creativity, so maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and being really productive while you're doing it. I'll see you in the next one.